making it a blind reveal. Looks good. The only thing that I would say is that the this logo. to tiny little white speck on his arm. <laughs> What's up guys? We are here today bringing you a PSA prep video. Uh, we have a very specific way of going about things when we're just looking for those deformities and things that we are trying to find to see if we should send something off to PSA or not. Uh, we currently have one uh, order that just just got finished and we're going to be getting back next week and we're going to be doing a, Aiden's already seen but I have not so we're going to be doing a, a blind reveal for me to see just how many just how many tens nines and hopefully nothing lower than that um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into it uh we're gonna start by i'm gonna go ahead and get this card out of this top loader and finish sleeve and hand it to aiden to have her look it over so she's just gonna be looking and checking and aiden why don't you go over a little bit what you're looking for uh, all right <laughs> um first thing i look for is centering um this card is actually pretty pretty good compared to most <laughs> uh side to side centering uh and top to bottom as well so check centering and then turn over the back check centering on the back don't see anything wrong with either of those, really. Maybe a teensy tiny bit on the back, but Seth, yeah, but why don't you say the... Uh... The back, they say, is 25-75, so that should be more than enough. The front, they say, is 60-40. I mean, I've seen them lean a little more towards towards 55-45, but it's PSA, and they want those Gem Mint tins to actually be, you know, perfect. So, and then, why don't you go into what you're looking for now? Uh, yeah, I am checking for any kind of dings or surface issues. Oh, we should light up the light right there that's making my nose look funny. <laughs> Anything I do see, I'm checking if it'll rub off with either my finger or my fiber cloth. Get my, get my thumbprint up top there as well. The very top, you see it? Mm -hmm. Oily. Yep. Well, smudgy. Greasy. Smudgy. Hmm. It's always so funny when I see people holding cards. I'm just like, oh, you're holding it too hard, and I'm like, I have no clue how how, how hard they're actually holding it. Because like you probably were not even putting any sort of pressure or anything, were you? Yeah. But I do. The only thing I see. Yeah, I see that little. There's that tiny little white speck on his arm see it and then there's this little teensy scratch i don't know if it's visible on the camera uh, I yeah i don't think they can see on the camera but yeah i see that and i think we'll i think we'll know a little bit better when we get our when we get our our Other grades back that, it looks so what would you say this goes in the maybe pretty good this is not oh, it's totally perfect yeah but we've got a small pile here. We have about, um, I would say about 80 other cards that Aiden's going to look through. These are just some of the ones that I pulled out to, to use for today. But yeah, just different cards that we've pulled um, from personal rips to, uh, to just ones we've pulled on the channel and everything yeah. like that. So immediately on this one, I see that the centering is not perfect. Yeah. So I would go ahead and say this is probably a no. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, just because centering can very, very, very quickly take you from a 10 to a 9, and then that's not even including if you were to happen to get something like, you know, any sort of print line or any sort of dents or anything like that. So that's why you really, really have to be picky and just be able to to say, okay, I think this, like, I can't see any visible errors with this. Like, I've looked this over super, super closely, super well, versus just, hey, I think this looks like a 10. Let me send it in. You know, if, you, if you're really, really wanting to get those 10s, then you've got to be very, very careful. So the other thing I did not touch on on the other ones, but I checked that 
when you touch on those the corners mm -hmm. you want to make sure the corners are nice and crisp yeah. that they're not folding or peeling yep and some of that is just those like that falling off paper almost like a little dandruff on the side but yeah they call them uh crumb boogers Oh, had know. you had you not heard that? Oh, that's real. Yeah, I've heard multiple people call them card boogers. Mm. It's a really really funny way to put it, but I'm just like centering okay. is definitely harder on these cards because all right, I can't tell like okay, is the centering from like that to the Panthers this logo to right the Panthers logo, but then this to the bottom of the prism. Mm -hmm. You know, you you just you don't really know. Um, but I do see that the side to side centering is pretty good from these corners. Okay, what about the back? Oh, that definitely needs to be cleaned off a little. Mm -hmm. yeah, the last thing that you want is to send something in to PSA and have it be uh, anything lower than a 10 because of something you could have cleaned off. So really just want to make sure you're having that attention to detail uh, and just making sure that, you know, you're sending in the best cards possible that you have. Another thing to make sure that you do before handling the cards, so there's not fingerprints, would be to uh, wash your hands just oh, really you well. Like I didn't do? <laughs> right. Make sure there's not going to be oil and fingerprints left on the card. I'll, I'll have you put things back in penny sleeves so that way nobody has to wonder if I'm uh... You could go grab the hand sanitizer if you want. I could do that, but then I'd leave you to have to talk by yourself. She right. wouldn't say anything. <laughs> so is this a fresh penny sleeve or is this the one that was already in? This is the one that was already in. Am I putting in a fresh one? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it went straight from... What's the determination? It looks, it looks good. The only thing that I would say is iffy on that one would be top to bottom, but it's hard to tell what they go off of. Yep. Because then we see this one and this top to bottom centering is about the same. Yep. So after she does that, we're putting it in a card saver, and then we're setting it off to the side. Because that is the requested thing from, I believe it's PSA, Beckett, SGC, uh, those are the, the top three, CGC if you do them. Uh, they specifically do want those card savers just because they're they're easier to package and the top loaders they can they can just uh, slide around a little bit more and be damaged in transit. We'll make it so that way it's less cards as we go through. So that way the video doesn't end up being too, too long. <laughs> well, I was going to ask how many we're doing because we're already eight. I mean, I, I like brought the, I brought the amount down quite a bit and I thought that that was good, but then I didn't think about the fact that, oh, wait, is that print line or not when I was out there? Wait, am I wrong? It looks like a print line a lot on the top, right? Mm, I do see it, but you can only see it from the side when the light, no, I don't. I think that's actually just the card. Yeah, it's not that it's so sweet. It's yeah, it's just super hard okay, to see. Okay, you say. can see it on camera a little bit. Yeah, and if that if that's enough to bring it down, then you I know. think that straight up is just the fact that it's made out of cardboard. And and there's the, another one well, right here. It very well could be. It doesn't like look like it's on the surface. It looks like it's underneath. It very well could be, but that could be enough to take it from a ten to a nine. Like it, I just don't think that that's because like you have to be able to make it out of something. Yes, but and that I think is no matter that what is the thing. Those like, things are going to happen to cards. Yes, but graders look, are going to disqualify cards from being a ten to a nine or an eight because of things like that. Especially if they're having a bad day. <laughs> That's that's consistently the joke is just that uh, better not catch uh, better not catch a grader on the day that he. Uh, this is funny. You can he, see a lot on the camera that you can't even see with the eye. There's a little dent right there. Mm -hmm. So I mean, even that's just enough to. Right, enough to. It's on the back, but yeah. 
See, the funny part is, you know. Oh, this one. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch my reaction to pulling this. Ha ha ha. The funny part is. I probably you know. sound depressed on here because I'm not very enthusiastic when, when I'm talking about it. The funny part is, is I was trying to say something and then you kept cutting, cutting it off. Is that, is, is that just the correct ice Sorry, up what, there? What were you saying? Oh, nothing. What was it that you were trying to say? I, I don't know. You kept cutting me off, and now I, I, I was can't trying remember. to cut you off again. It didn't, it didn't work. But I don't know what you were going to say in general. I just. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. So hard with these ones with the correct ice. Oops. Yeah. Well, because we sent in, I think, one cracked ice. I'll be curious to see what we get on that one. Mm. Which cracked ice did we send in? Uh, the Will Levis Panini, the red one. Oh. Yeah. And then I've literally looked at you the grades and I don't remember them. <laughs> I mean, that is the good thing, is that I can, like, interrogate you and be like, I can rely so, on my the, mom brain. What's the, what's the grade? And you're like, I literally don't remember. Because this one, she has those same print lines. Yeah, and it's... It, it's hard to say that that's Plus it enough. has a couple little... No, no, that one's a regular. Okay. Then it's got this one that's not... No. But it's on the back, so it's also like... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is where the back is. Mm. Alright. Maybe. Yes. What are you thinking? I feel like a yes. Okay. I definitely feel like that one could be a, a 10. Alright, should we do this This jersey as the last one? Yeah, we do that. Okay, that way we see it. Because jersey cards are a little bit harder. Yep. Oh, this one. This silver. Mm. Hmm. Immediately though, I yeah. see the centering. Well, centering, and then that's a ding, that's mm. a ding, like... Yeah, this one's definitely not gonna get a 10, so... Yeah. This, this is the unfortunate part. This is like 300 plus dollars raw, and they've been selling for like eight to nine hundred dollars as a PSA 10. But you can, it, it, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, Beautiful there's... Card. There's ding, there's, there's literally ding two dings. Here. And down here. And, and like the centering's not good. And people have submitted cards and gotten tens even with dings. And but it's just, you know, it's not a risk that you want to take of spending twenty, possibly even possibly even up to seventy five if it uh if it grades high enough to only get like a PSA nine or a PSA or a PSA eight. And there's jersey cards. And that, they agree a lot harder. Oh, wow, this is a crisp card. Yeah, these these Prism jersey ones have been super crisp. I'll be curious to see what we get. We submitted one, uh, I think it was a silver jersey of CJ. Um, yeah. Jersey cards, is super, super hard to get a 10. Like, you're, you're pretty happy if you get a 9. Eight is probably the typical what you would get for just these these thicker cards. So if we get a nine, I'll be happy. I will be ecstatic if we get a ten. All right, what's the verdict on this one? And it's what specifically close. what specifically are you looking for in addition to yeah, the jersey card? Right here. Okay. You say. Yeah, but I've seen smaller ones like that be enough where it doesn't actually make a big enough difference. Centering, top to bottom, it's not great. You see here, and then down yeah. here. Hmm. There are a couple little things with this card. There's got a little white spot on this jersey, so we know we're up top. Okay, it's just a card booger. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to say that without you no. laughing, am I? <laughs> no, that's, so, that's such a weird thing. Um, and then the back, 
It has a couple little surface things. Okay. So is that a maybe or no? Yeah, let's take one. It has because it has multiple things and it's a jersey. Like I would say, probably a maybe, but it probably end up being. I don't know. I, I would still be curious, but I feel like it could get a nine for sure. Okay. It's a really crisp card. So, putting it into a card saver. Sure. And that will do it for this one. So yeah, just. Again, just going over just the things that you can be doing if you are going to submit something to PSA. Uh, yeah, just really, really got to be critical of your cards. Not every single card is going to grade a 10. And, you know, we, I think we did, it went 50-50 with cards that were, were considering submitting versus cards that were uh, the cards that were not. So, yeah, this has... Uh, <laughs> this is uh this has been uh the the PSA prep video. Again, we'll have a PSA blind reveal from me sometime next week. Uh you're just you're, is this going to be your thing? I'm making it video? a blind reveal. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now it really will be a blind reveal. But yeah, be on the lookout for that next week and until next time, stay ripping. <laughs>